Hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot, Wednesday, April the 7th, 2021. Valentine joins us, she's having a very enthusiastic wash and Leia is right behind her having a very enthusiastic sleep. I think she's just about to go intimate wash department, so we'll just shield her a little bit. We're doing a quick fun knowledge encyclopedia story. This is called Lost in Translation. With all of the confusing spelling and pronunciations, people often say that English is one of the hardest languages to learn. More than that, we have tons of words and phrases that just can't be translated 100% accurately into other languages. So here are a few of them. And definitely comment in the comment section if there's some that you understand or don't understand. I think you're gonna get all of them. Trade-off, that's pretty obvious, isn't it? Serendipity, there's a film about that. Auto-tune, face palm, I think that's that. Insight, specific descriptions of sights and sounds such as gleam, glisten and rustle. I think everybody gets these though. Piece of cake, it's a piece of cake. Do you know that one? Is that universal? It's a piece of cake, means it's easy. Adding fuel to the fire. Why must the English language be so confusing? I don't think that particularly is actually. Yeah. Let me know in the comments section if any of that is at all confusing or baffling. And let me know in your locality, you know, if that's your neighborhood or your country, any weird phrases that you've got, like for example, anything that means something is easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. There's another one. Okay. How you doing, Val? Oh yeah, we're full on into the intimate wash department. My jumper is here. I will hide you with it. Lightseer's tarot, woohoo! Oh, that's nice. What do we need to know? It's the peak of the week. Peak of the week. Cool. Very nice, actually. At the bottom of the deck, we have that death card, Scorpio energy, and it says death and rebirth, and it has the infinity symbol, and then this kind of really Star Wars-y looking Darth Vader-y type thing. I love this card. It's one of the nicest and yet most authentic death cards, I think. When you get the death card, it's just showing that there's a change of scene. There is a change, there's a transition. There is moving from one state to another one way of things one way of things being one way of things being to another it can be gradual it usually is but it means kind of there's no going back from this often you only see that with hindsight okay we do have with it the ten of swords and again this is a really nice ten of swords Ten of Swords goes back, it just goes back. It can go back to childhood, it can go back to 10 years ago, 10 years old. It goes back and it's quite deeply rooted. So whatever you are transitioning from is big. You know, it's from this life, this way of being, this mode of thought, this picture, this view of yourself, this world view to another. Now, we also have the hanged man. And this is a very contradictory energy. Now, I, I love a bit of contradictory energy because I think often, and this is something when, if you're learning to read tarot, um, very often with, when you're learning to read tarot, you're looking for a sort of consecutive story in the cards. You're looking for things to complement and harmonize and agree. Um, also very important to look at what doesn't agree, what clashes. You know, we talked, I don't know when it was, a few months ago, about certain discord in music, which is very plangent, very beautiful. There is a discord here. There is a pro and a con kind of mixed together about moving forward. Maybe you feel you wanna take something with you and it can't be taken with you. Maybe you wanna simultaneously move forward and stay the same. As humans, we often find transitions challenging. We don't often, although some of us do, 
um, more fire signs normally. Fire and air signs tend to be able to do this. Um, kind of leap over the, the fence in a real, yeah, woohoo, let's go, you know? Whereas everybody else is like, oh, I'm not sure about this. Will this work? Will it not work? So expect there to be conflict, but within that conflict to be something really worth having, okay? Then we have the star. Aquarian energy and the energy of manifesting, wishing, hoping, and drawing down magic. I love the star. It's just one of my favorite cards. And alongside it, we have the sun. I mean, look at that card, that burst of energy, that yang energy, the fire energy. Woohoo! Then we have the only reverse card, which is unusual for us, the five of wands in reverse. I love when the five of wands is in reverse. When the five of wands is in the upright, so much bureaucratic nonsense stands in your way. Little things, just niggly things, all of that stuff. No, it's like a ball of wool just gently unraveling. Nice but it's not necessarily going to feel comfortable, okay? In this mix, the King of Swords. So you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or you could also be dealing with being quite logical, ruthless, and rational about what you discover. There's two parts to it. There's kind of the spiritual side of it, and then there's the acting it out side of it in the 3D. Over here, overall energy card, seven of pentacles, growing something, but at the same time, constantly assessing whether it's worthwhile. And then the other overall energy card is the Ace of Cups. This is an overflow of unconditional love, self-love, love towards others, and just a whole, a whoosh, a rush, a smooch. Hi, sweetie. I have to be careful she doesn't bite me. Hey, honey pot. Yes, hi. Ace of Cups, sweetheart. We love the Ace of Cups. I'm just gonna take one major arcana from the kitchen tarot. Oh, yes. Very nice. What a great card. The calm of trusting your sense of connection. The strength card or the skillet. Now a skillet, I'm thinking, we all know that I am not exactly Delia Smith in the kitchen, but a skillet is like a big cast iron pan that you cook steak in and stuff, isn't it? So we have the strength card. The strength card as well is self mastery. We're going through a process here my process. We're going through a process of self-discovery, of self-awareness and self-mastery. And that is involving holding two contradictory thoughts. I want to stay the same and I am changing together. Okay. Right. Let's have one Chuck Spezzano enlightenment card. Just seeing if I can see the book. Yes, they are the enlightenment cards. Nice. Love this card. We get the healing card of joining. And this is about, and I think it's blending the two opposites. It may involve someone else. It may involve a conflict about moving on and staying the same that you have with another person and within yourself. But this is about joining. It's what you can blend. And while you're in that hanged man state, what you can blend about something that's opposite is the way you move forward. I really hope that makes sense. What are these called? Wisdom of the Oracle, Colette Baron reed We get clean it up. This is always telling you to only clean your side of the street, okay? Don't lean over with your, your big old broom and try and sweep up somebody else's stuff, okay? It's probably all you can do to keep your own side of the street clean. And if you clean up their side of the street, they'll never have the self-realization that you need in order to meet them as an equal. 
Let's have a healing with the angels card. That one. One moment, please. Oh, I don't, it's not here. Where is it? People, we have a situation. I hardly even know how to say this, but I don't know where the tiara is since I cleared up. Oh my God. We're gonna to have to imagine that I'm putting on a tiara, okay? If you've got a tiara, put on your tiara for me. I think you know, it's the miracles card. That's that star card. Expect miracles, even if you don't feel like it. And the miracle comes in blending almost what you're holding back and what you don't want to happen with what is inevitably going to change. Leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.